What is actually rather safe, yet everyone treats it as far more scary than it is. Speaking as a person who grew up in the 70s, going to the dentist going to the dentist when I was young was damn near medieval torture and I avoided it in my later years. But after my son married a dentist, and she had me in for some much needed dental work, I saw just how far the treatment had come and that it was a relatively pain-free and pleasant experience. Sharks. 2023 saw a doubling of unprovoked fatal shark attacks. And how many were there? Around the world? 10 just 10. Meanwhile, how many sharks do humans kill per year? 100 million. Eating food that is past the best before date. Only if the food looks and smells as you expect. It should be okay to eat. Opossums they are non-aggressive to the point it's absurd. You can pick them up or pet them and they just hiss. Flying. You're more likely to get injured driving to the airport than soaring 30,000 feet in the air. Nuclear power. MSG. Riding roller coasters. The amount of safety testing and regulations they undergo is immense. Yet, the fear of that drop gets to so many. Think about it though, your daily car trip is statistically way riskier. Let's talk about the misunderstood hero of the insect world, spiders. Seriously, these eight-legged artists are like nature's pest control, silently taking care of the bug business. Yet, everyone treats them like tiny arachnid assassins. It's time to give spiders a break, they're more into creating web art than plotting world domination. So, next time you see one, just appreciate the tiny architect doing its job. Chemicals in general. There's a really popular trend of chemophobia and worship of the biological and all natural that sometimes steps right into cult mentality. GMO food. I hate to tell you but pretty much everything you eat has been genetically modified. Why do you think bananas don't have seeds anymore? Our corn is so sweet and juicy. Over time we picked what we liked and modified it. Blended. Created new things. Cause cotton candy grapes definitely are just from nature. Australian wildlife. While we have more than our fair share of potentially dangerous critters the vast majority are either in remote areas, will flee the moment they sense you coming or hardly ever move from their hiding spots. Generally in order to have a fatal encounter with the wildlife here you'd have to seek them out, invade their territory and intentionally provoke them. On the other hand I've seen videos of bears, wolves and big cats stalking people and breaking to homes. Letting your kids go off and explore on their own. No, pedophiles aren't laying in wait to snatch your kid from the shadows. The vast majority of abductions are at the hands of someone the child knows. And even more likely at the hands of a non-custodial parent, as it's pretty much always been. Using your turn signal. MSG. Once I learned more about it, and the conspiracy against it, motivated by racism, I now commonly cook with it. It adds so much to many dishes. Traveling solo can appear daunting, but with proper planning and awareness, it's often a rewarding and enriching experience. Don't let fear stop you from exploring the world. Seat belts. I've heard, look at the injuries they cause. Yeah, cause they physically held a person in place instead of flying through a windshield and becoming a Jackson Pollock piece on the pavement woman facepalming. It's kinda new and in the mom groups but epidurals. There's fentanyl in them but medical grade and provided by doctors but it's all of a sudden being deemed too unsafe and people are choosing to go without it. Note that doctors aren't saying it's unsafe but it's definitely views I'm seeing more and more in the parenting groups. 
swallowing gum. I can't believe this needs to be said, vaccines are safe. I hate how every time I have to pick up broken glass people act like I'm gonna lose a limb. Worst case scenario I get a small cut. Or maybe stitches and antibiotics. It's not that scary. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.